Good morning. Good morning from beautiful, rainy North Georgia. Today is Southern Bell Day. Southern Bells get together and cook. We do. And today, we are making something that my mother made all the time when I was a child because we were poor <laughs> and mama didn't have a whole lot of... But now it's not a poor dessert. No, it's not a poor dessert because this cost a fortune to put all this stuff in it. But mama always made bread pudding and it was my way of knowing that we're out of money and mama doesn't have anything else for dessert so we have bread pudding. Well you had bread and eggs and milk and you had all kinds of things. And so. sugar and vanilla and mother put raisins in it. Can I just say I do not like raisins in bread pudding no, at all. No, we don't do raisins. This is a raisin list. We're having two recipes today. And we're going to share that with y'all in a few minutes. But we're well, also. The funny thing about bread pudding is you can put anything in you the can. world you, you like. You can. If you like cherries or you yep. like lemons or. I almost brought some fruit cocktail because I thought it gives Pineapple it a little is color. Pineapple really good in it with it too. Well, it gives it a little color for the holidays. And I'm just trying to get creative and think out of the box because I've done six bread pudding recipes in the last two months. Well, you've got dates and pecans sitting I over there. I have dates which and pecans which. Speaking to me greatly. We both love dates and we love pecans. So of sure course do. we would make what we like because we're old Southern broads and old Southern broads want to make themselves happy. So now last I'm week we now. celebrated. You returned. Jen has been gone for five and a half, six months battling cancer. You're doing great. You're doing amazing. And everybody God keeps sending me messages saying, Jen looks so young. Jen looks so good. Jen looks so... Jen is amazing because Jen has overcome a very vicious cancer. God. God has overcome. Yeah, God, God, absolutely. Took, God has a plan. Danny and I were talking about this 10 minutes ago. God has a plan for both of us. He's right. going through. Right. And he's living a miracle right now. And and when he when he walks into the studio, I can't tell you how many prayers have gone up because of our visual on television. We can ask you to pray for us. We can ask you to pray for our director. We can ask you to pray for my co-host. We can ask you to pray for families in the community. Prayers are answered. And you you feel it. Danny sure and I do. talked about that yeah. also. You, you, it's just like right now. I've got a, a, my back, just right up my back. I just, I feel God's hand. And you cannot go through something like this. This changes you. Mm -hmm. You talked about mm -hmm. JS. Mm -hmm. It. They tell you what. They give you a worst case scenario. Right. They don't want to give you a best case scenario right. because there isn't a best case mm -hmm. with this mess mm -hmm. we've had. Mm -hmm. But you say we're working towards it, and with God's help. I made a comment to my one of my doctors this just the last couple of days and I said thank you for saving my life you know you found my problem and he said uh, he hel he helped me find he mm -hmm. he led me to it right he said he he helps me every day so it's important to find faith-based physicians absolutely. And to absolutely be with them and know that they know what you're going through and they yep. empathize with you that they're not just being doctors and I, I remember the words when the doctor said Mr. Martin, go home and get your affairs in order. Your time is near. And my husband begged for more chemo. He begged. And he said, I don't want to leave her. And he was patting me on the knee. And I said, I'll be OK. I'll be OK. I knew I wouldn't be. And I wasn't. For two years, I wasn't. And I went absolutely nuts. And I've and, been in that seat, too. And, and we think about how we all deal with that news. My husband did not give up until the moment. Even though we knew he that was going to trip. heaven, he did not give up. And I think that's the battle with cancer. Don't give in and don't give up. And when a doctor looks at you and says you are a 1% chance, Hans Rufert was a 1% chance. And Hans Rufert Han, is 15 I've, years old. As long as I've known Hans, he's been fighting this. Yes, I met yes. Hans because of his fight for can of cancer. Right. And, and he's 15 years into this, guys. So if you get that diagnosis today, and I want to ask everybody out there to pray for my friend Nadine Michael. She is in surgery right now at Northside Cherokee. She has a golf ball sized tumor coming off of her brain as we speak. And we are going to declare it cancer free and we're going to declare her 100% healing and we're going to see Absolutely. her come out of this. Absolutely. She's my age. She is way too young to leave us. She is amazing. She is so much fun. She's so vibrant. She was so on top of living and she got this diagnosis. And so today she's in surgery and, and please well, everybody yeah. put her on your church prayer list. 
Her name is Nadine Michaels, and she is Absolutely. just the dearest, dearest, sweet, sweet lady. Well, when I walked into Dr. Geller's office after the surgeon and I had had all these conversations about this, and I go into the oncologist's office, I think my second question to him, my first, no, my first question was said to him was, can I live with this? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I went into that meeting thinking, what am I going to have to do to live with this? Mm -hmm. I will not give up till my last breath is mm -hmm, gone. Mm -hmm. And he told me later, he said, I liked that about you. And it's so weird that we're talking about, we want to live in this cruel, corrupt, crazy world when we have heaven waiting on us. Isn't that weird? Well, we know where we're going, yeah. but I still think we all have things that we want to finish Absolutely. or accomplish or Absolutely. things we would like to see. We have children we want to see grow. We have grandchildren we want to see Absolutely. grow. We have things we want to accomplish. And today... We want to just survive this rain right we now. We do. Today we're going to accomplish two different bread pudding recipes. This is going to be the normal one. This is going to be the one that has cookies in it because with kids, Let me just move you, this one over here a little bit, some, little closer to me while we're You can coax them with a little it. bit of everything, but I brought three different breads, actually four, a couple of homemade biscuits that I made, and so we will use you homemade gotcha. biscuits and bagels. So I can call this, I can call this, and look at this biscuit, how big Boy, that, that biscuit that, is. That's a, that's <laughs> a good a size pan here. That's a, yeah, um, and these bagels, so we can call this the North Meets the South bread pudding because we brought bagels, we brought biscuits, we brought all kinds of different breads. You I brought just some didn't butter bring bread. Any cream donuts. I did not, but that you gave me the idea. Let me tell you, that makes a killer bread pudding. Well, when you told me that, that's why I grabbed the cookies because I thought we we're going to do some extra. This is bread that I would normally use to make French toast. Yes, or toast. And it's a great artisan bread, and it has a little bit of egg in it, so it's really, really cool to make uh, bread pudding. We're going to use that. But you're going to start, we're going to start by breaking, we're going to break two eggs at a time because we're going to do two recipes. This stands for cancer. Yes, there you go. You Beat want the eggs cancer. in here? Yes, two eggs in there. Where's the other one with the hole in it? There you go, two eggs. Now I'm not being a cool cook here, I'm using both hands. <laughs> That's all right. Y'all get over it, that's what I do. That's all right. Okay, two eggs, and then we're going to add some sugar. And y'all will notice how I measure. I don't. I have brown well, sugar. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Stop, stop, stop. Uh-oh. You got a piece of shell? Okay, I have brown sugar and white sugar. I'm going to put a little bit of both of these. So we got that. A little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of white sugar. And I just put it in my jar, and I'm going to take... A little bit of the brown, and I'm going to go down and get a little bit of the white, and a little bit more of the white. Just a little bit more. And a little bit more of the white, and a little bit more of the white, and, and a white, little bit and of the, the brown. And the white goes in. Okay, there and you go. The brown now, Jen, if you'll stir that up, here's a, here's that one. Okay, stir that up, and I'm going to be chopping the bread. And again, we have biscuits. We have. I just love the lumps brown bagels. sugar gets in. I'll do a couple of each, and then we have butter bread. Nothing says loving like something with butter from the oven. Something from the oven with loving so from there the oven. You go. And then we'll save these to do the next round. And we got ovens sitting every, oh, we moved them all. I don't know Yeah, we're going to use um, actually the oven in the kitchen. The big oven. So y'all won't get to see us, but I cut this in cubes. Mm-hmm. And I'm very weird. I don't like mushy bread pudding. I, you know, I think maybe that's why I didn't like Mama's. Hers was mushy. And mine, I kind of cube the bread, and I'm pretty cautious about how I take care of my bread. So you see, most recipes now call for cubed bread because you've got to have a little bit okay, of. Okay, we're going to put half a can of this. This is condensed milk. That's just plain good loving. That's going just in absolutely there. wonderful. This is the southern part. Yes, condensed southern milk. Southern ladies learn, and grow up learning how yes. to cook with condensed milk. And let me right tell you away. about condensed milk, honey. You can absolutely dip a vanilla wafer in that and call it dessert. Oh my gosh, it is so, so awesome. Good. So Mix a little key lime there juice There you go. It. So we have eggs, sugar, condensed milk, and now, y'all notice how I measure, I did bring a measuring cup today. See, I have a measuring cup. No, she and I both I'm not just, gonna use we, it. we just do this. <laughs> I have a measuring cup and I'm not gonna use it. I got it. a big measuring cup here. Can okay, just... will you just stir that up please? There you go. And then we're gonna And be careful, don't sprinkle it out all over yeah, yourself. Yeah, 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 be good. 
Gonna put a little bit of vanilla flavoring in. Keep going, sunshine. And then we are going to, I'm gonna chop up, I'm gonna chop one of the biscuits for this recipe and then I'll use another one for the other. And I'm gonna keep stirring on this so that it's really mixed yes. really kind of yes. well because yeah. we are making a pudding. We are, we are, we are. And again, I'm just cubing all the bread. Now I'm gonna cube some bagels. She's just got bread everywhere over here. I do. And you know, the first time I made it with bagels, I thought, does this make sense to make a southern recipe with bagels yes, out of a Jewish does. deli in Atlanta? But you know, yeah, maybe it did. Because it really adds a good texture to it. I'm going to that Jewish deli next week, by the way. You want I know. Some? No, I'm trying to do really, really good. No chopped liver And then. let me tell y'all. No chopped liver. I got some great labs. My uh, A1C is good again, which is really cool. I've been so re no being really cautious. Liver. I'm being cautious, very cautious. I bet if I walked in the door, she wouldn't throw it out the front door. I wouldn't throw it out the door, but I'm really trying to do well. <laughs> this, we're all, that feels great. We're now, all let me, mixed. I know how to mix it. Okay, here we go. Whee! Stir, 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 stir! You need to get every, every cube covered with covered. the mixture. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. And then, whee! If we go floating off the set, it's because we are storming in L.O.J. Yes, it's it's a little it's a little rainy and it's a little miserable. And, but that's what gave me the idea to do cooking. I watched the weather, and when the weather said it was going to be miserable, I thought, Oh, you're not going to misery me. I'm going to fix something that's going to be fun. Okay, that's not Need bad. A little bit that's more, a little bit more bread. A little more bread. You yep. got a little more liquid here that's still yep, little more floating bread. on top of everything. But yep. I've got every every cube is covered. Yep. And that's the key, y'all. Have y'all noticed? I haven't given you any measurements on this. You eyeball it and you tell By yourself, sight. Is it right? You want your cubed bread and you want it to be covered good and you don't want it to be dry, but I don't want it to be soupy and I don't want the bread to get mushy. I can't stand mushy bread. So you don't put yours in the refrigerator and save it up, let no. it soak overnight? No, Mama did and I just, I like it. And I'll tell you who taught me how to do this. Pam McRae, I watched a Blackberry Ridge Eatery mm -hmm. part of the home that we did and Pam did it with leftover bread from a weekend retreat. And it was perfect. Okay, now, the magical dates, pecans, dates and pecans. You can't go wrong with dates and pecans. Or pecan for a date. You know. There you go. This Perfect. is good and thick. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to put it in this dish. Let's do that. And we will. She takes, she takes the fun part. I do. See how good I got that done? You're perfect. That is perfection. What did you say? I didn't perfection. quite hear that. Perfection. She loves to hear that. Perfection. She's a, perfection. Tough, old, she's a tough old broad who's hanging around for some perfection. reason. Perfection. Okay, now. Now we're going to start over and do another complete recipe, but I'm going to add some butter to this, and we're going to run, put this one in the oven, and let it be cooking, and I'm going to add a little bit of butter to the top of it. You know, Aunt Tempe would be saying, Sherry, that's not enough butter. But because I am trying to eat a little bit healthier, <laughs> I don't know about this. I don't know if this is healthy now, this or not. Is, this is bread pudding. But so this is bread healthy pudding. Healthy and bread okay, pudding. Now, can we hand that over to Michelle? Is there a way? And stick it in the oven, and it's going to stay there for about 20 minutes before we check it. What do you want it on? Okay. Three, it's on. It's, it's on already now. on. Okay, now you're going to start again with two eggs. We're going to. I only had one egg, young lady. I had three eggs. Here's. Oh, okay. What happened to the fourth one? Oh, I know. Okay, <laughs> use that one. That's fine. <laughs> I know what happened to it. <laughs> oh, it it had a it was a Humpty Dumpty. No, no, no. I left it sitting in the kitchen. <laughs> okay, and you see that's one biscuit. And then this is the kids' version of can, bread pudding. Can Michelle bring it back out of the kitchen? Michelle, there's an egg in the kitchen. Will you bring No, no, not here. No, oh, no, it's in no, her. No, no, don't, no, don't, no, don't no, run no. down to no, Sherry's no, right no, now. No, 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 no. Okay, no. then use a little bit of less bread and a little more yes, milk. Yes, we will. And we've got the um, sugar, Sherry. Right in front sugar. of you. Yeah. Sugar, 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 sugar. Okay, brown sugar and white sugar. And again, I just cut my bread up in cubes. And there you go. 
It's amazing what an egg can do for a recipe, isn't it? It most certainly is. So when you're when you're making this for your grandchildren or your children and you decide what will make them eat it, you let them watch you do the recipe and you let them see you putting in their favorite cookie. So I chose chocolate chip and Oreos because those are two of Riker's favorites. And this is again the uh, liquid gold of the South. Of course, some of the milk into milk. that and rinse that out. And Condensed milk, yay. That is liquid gold, isn't it? It sure is. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. You know, if we weren't on TV, I'd take a big old spoonful of this and slap it in my mouth. <laughs> Thought it hadn't entered my mind. <laughs> oh, it did mine, it did mine. Well, if you, I, I was being very sin, facetious sin. as I said that. All right, now a little bit of little vanilla. vanilla. Okay, and some milk. Some milk, some milk, some milk. Don't want to splatter. Got it. There you go. All right, and did y'all notice the brand of milk I use? Mayfield, Mayfield Dairies. Thank you very much, Scotty Mayfield. Yay. And again, you know, we're using. I use the thick bread that I actually make Not French much. toast we don't out have. of. Mm -mm, no. I think we're going to have plenty. Yeah, I love this bread. It, it's a little bit thick, but it's great for French toast. And it does have eggs in it. Yeah, so. I don't like it for sandwiches. It's a little, no, too, it's much a little too much bread. Yep. That sounds like Freddie Brackett. <laughs> he said bread. the same exact thing. Y'all hadn't been co co no. conversing, have you? Well, I've spoken <laughs> to Freddie two or thing. three times over the last 15 years, maybe four times. I'm, you know, That's I talked funny. to him last Monday outside. Okay, we've got the vanilla, we've got everything else in there. Now let's throw our bread in. And yay. Yum. Looks like perfection to me. Looks to me just perfect. Now, I'm going to sneak around behind. Well, Jen, I'm going to be rude and go in front of you. Okay, here uh, we go. Yeah, I can even lean back a little now, bit. Now, when you choose the cookies, or you could even use, if your kids like, um, Riker loves grapes. Or the love of your life. Vanilla wafers in this would oh, be yeah. absolutely delicious. Yeah, yeah. But we are going to do chocolate chip cookies, and, and this is how I do my cookies. Beat the dickens out of them. Watch your hand. Watch my hand. See that knife? You never want. You never want to get a hold of a I, woman with a knife. You know how much I trust Sherry Martin? I'm standing this close to her with her slinging that blade around. This shows how much I trust you. I know. You. Make an appointment with the psychologist after a while, would you? Okay, chocolate chip cookies. Oh, now, get every drop in there. There's the flavor for that. And then when we come back, the other one is going to get caramel on it. When it comes out of the oven, the other one is going to get some caramel on it. But this one's going to have the chocolate chips that'll melt in there. So you could do either the Oreos or chocolate chip, but we did the chocolate chips. And get your pan sprayed. I've got it sprayed. It's ready to go. Perfection, perfection. I love it, I love it. Now let's put some butter on God, it. that smells so good. Isn't that awesome, thank you. Oh my heavens above. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, a little bit of butter. There's just something about butter. Always. And nothing says loving like something from the oven with a whole lot of butter whole in it. A whole lot of butter. A whole lot of butter in it. Okay, so we have the kids' version, which has chocolate chip cookies. Very simple. Oh, I can simple. see several kids around the studio right now that are smiling yeah, from ear to yeah, ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Michelle, you want to get that and put it in the oven, please? Yes, same thing. Yep. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Are you yep. three through with this one? Yes, we are. You want to dump this in a trash can somewhere? Hold on. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we've made a mess, but I hope when you're that at you home, it's easier notes. to clean up. Yes, I hope that y'all took notes, and you will try. I took leftover biscuits. We I have took that while you talk. I took that. leftover bread. 
And I took ingredients. I love dates. I love pecans. You love dates. You love pecans. Um, we're going to put a little butter, bit butter, of butter, 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 and butter. condensed milk. We're going to put a little bit of caramel sauce on that one and um, the chocolate chip cookies. It just made sense for the kids' recipe. So does that make sense to you? Makes perfect sense. There you go. There's trash can. <laughs> There's trash can. Yay. Oh, boy, that is Now, a we're going to take a commercial break, and when Do we you come back. Do this container? No. Do you know where we're going to be when we come back? Over there, where we belong. So we're going to leave you here, and when we come back, then we'll do some music and we'll do some chit chat, and we're going to share some. Um, we're going to share some great footage from the ball ground parade. We had so much fun, and ball ground, you outdid yourself. It was absolutely fantastic. Well, now, Copper Hill did a pre Copper Hill. I wish I could have been Copper there. Copper Hill, McKaysville. Wish I could have been there. Did a wonderful job too. Yep, and and that's absolutely. what that's what the tiny towns that we serve are all about. And the light up, light up McKaysville. I just cannot congratulate our city fathers near enough. Good, good, just and cannot. and if you haven't been out and seen what's going on in these tiny towns. Go visit every single one of them because they're all doing something spectacular. Now, we're going to take a commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to be sitting down right over there. Right over there. We'll be back in just a minute, guys. United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge.
third wide mouth. Don't worry about changing now, just curious. Oh, oh. That's not a problem. I, that's, that's like a one, that's like a five second change in from here. Okay, did y'all get to see the parade? Just a little bit of it. You will get to see the parade in its entirety because the guys are going to produce that and put it on. And so if you have ETC services, which you should have ETC services, then you're going to get to see the parade in its entirety. And it's going to be really, really cool. And you'll also get to see some of downtown ball ground because Tim got out with the camera and took shots of all the beautiful shops in ball ground. And so it's going to be really, really cool to be able to share our tiny town with everybody. We, we are them, growing. We want them to come see ball ground and tour around ball ground and then tour as they come up. But then I want them to come see my neck of the woods up in up in God's country. McKaysville. McKaysville, yep, yep. Copper Hill, come up and stand in two states at one with one foot yep, and yep. take all the pictures with the, the kids and all the fun. I remember the first time I did that, Jen. The first time I did that was 1968. Do you know how long ago that was? Wait a minute. <laughs> it's a long time ago. That was it's a week or so, two ago. It's so weird how time has just flown and by. And look, when I look at it now, how that whole area has changed in the 13 years I've been up there. That's yeah. hard to believe oh, yeah. that I've yeah. been up there 13 years. <clears throat> well, I found some footage that Tim actually pulled out of the can. Oh, dear. 17 years ago, when I first was on ETC, 17 years ago, and it was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. I remember so. the day you came by to see me and, and now said, there's I got, the parade. let now me look, tell you what's is, about to happen. We, we had so much fun, guys. And thank you to everybody who came into our office. We had so many people who stopped in and said, thank you for opening your doors. Thank you for providing refreshments. People wanted to pay. And we're like, no, we don't charge for this. We just do refreshments and cookies and, and candy. And we did like 350 candy bags for kids. And everybody was just so warm and welcoming and nice. And it again, the weather really, really on nice. both Friday night and Saturday, oh my gosh. Perfection. Yeah. We could not have yeah. had better weather for either parade. You know who didn't get to see the parade? Why? Riker John. Catherine is sick. Riker is sick. They oh, have both no. been sick for several days. And so. Hate that. Okay, I've, I've put it off as long as I can, but I have to do something that I've dreaded all weekend long. But I, I want to do this. A beautiful, beautiful lady in ball ground went to meet with Jesus, and her service was this weekend. Her husband preached at our church just a few weeks ago, and then the next thing he has to do is deal with burying his beautiful wife, and it just blows my mind. Kathy Roper was one of those amazing women who stood out, who excelled, who was so kind and so good, and she's gone to be with Jesus. And her See, we husband, never know. Pastor, we never know. No. But I found this, and my sister sent me this when, my, when our stepmom passed away, and this is so appropriate for Kathy Roper. It just says exactly how I would feel about so many of our dear friends who have gone on. Don't think of her as gone away. Her journey's just begun. Life holds so many facets. The earth is only one. Just think of her as resting from the sorrows and the tears in a place of warmth and comfort where there are no days and years. Think how she must be wishing that we could know today how nothing but our sadness can really pass away. And think of her as living in the hearts of those she touched, for nothing loved is ever lost, and she was loved so much. 
and that for Freddie's mom, for Kathy, for so many wonderful women that we know who have gone on to be with the Lord. Well, it's just like I told you last week. We're going to celebrate the next few weeks of Miss Angela's life. Right. And if that right. doesn't describe Angela Burgess to a T, right. that doesn't describe anybody. Look yeah, at the, the joy and yeah. the tears. I went home and laughed again about that dad blame gumdrop cook. <laughs> But no, we're Rachel celebrating her. We are celebrating this woman who she was so, so full Christmas. of life. Yes, Christmas. And Christmas was the most wonderful time of the year. So all of y'all, this is, we just, we're going to say something nice about Miss Angela every, every, every Monday. Yep. She yep. is still very much in my heart and in my well, mind. Well, and it's like this wreath that it took me, She's, took me seven years to get this wreath and have the, that I could deal with it. She made this for her personal home, and this hung in her living room. And because we've dealt with suicide and Alzheimer's and you with cancer this year, we have to represent all the women She went fighting. through cancer. Yeah. She went yeah. through so much. Yep. And, yep. you know, one of the questions they ask you now and you go into the chemo lab is they have a set of questions they would ask every week. And one of them is, have you given thought to doing any harm to yourself? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm and I make myself think of her yes. every time they yep. would ask me that yep. question. Yep. But no, we're, we're going to say positive things about, right. about right. that ray of sunshine and, and, and laughter gonna, that came into our I lives. I tell you, the, the best program ever produced here on ETC was the Friday morning that my daughter flew in here late. Now, and slid across the seat. And slid across the seat. Everybody who knows me knows if I tell you dinner's going to be ready at noon, I really meant 11.45. And when you're not there, I'm angry and I'm mad and I'm like, why aren't they here yet? And then uh, they're like, uh, well, Mom, you said 12 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock and we're here. But I told you 12, and, but you know I didn't mean that. <laughs> I've always been like that. And so Angela yeah, I told came, you she's kind of quirky. I was sitting here on the set and I saw her come around that door and oh, I was ready to choke her out. But it gets better than that, y'all. She slid in here and she was perfection as always. And we did a great show and we had so much fun. The day my daughter got a new tattoo, I saw that tattoo live on this set. And you talk about a mama. I remember the look on your face. Oh my gosh. But it's like her first tattoo. Can y'all tell I'm not a fan of tattoos, although some of my dearest, dearest friends have tons of tattoos. I'm just, my mama said, don't deface your body. And so I, I, do, I, I couldn't do that. But it was so funny because Angela got her first tattoo. <clears throat> she was married. She had a child. Wasn't any of my business what she did, <laughs> but I'm her mama. <clears throat> and I looked down at her leg and I said, what is that on your leg? And she said, Yosemite Sam. And I said, what is he doing on your leg? <laughs> and she said, I got a tattoo. And I said, that thing better wash off. She, my daughter defied me when it came to that. So, you know, we all have our own See, opinions. She brought you at the very end, a lot of tears. Oh my gosh, yeah. But through a number of years, she brought you a lot of laughter and oh, yeah. joy. Oh yeah. And that laughter oh, yeah. and joy is what we're going to celebrate for the next <coughs> few weeks. Well, today, this morning, and Tim found it. I don't know where in the Dickens this man found this stuff, but he found a program, the first heart of the home we did at my new home, and Angela was making her mother-in-law's recipe, spinach and chicken. That is the best stuff you ever put in your mouth. Absolutely the best stuff I've ever eaten. It's, it's probably out of all the restaurants I've ever been to, it's just above restaurant quality. It's fantastic. And Angela learned from Siggy's mom to make this. And so <clears throat> Tim found this program. I didn't even know it existed. I'd love to see it because I need that recipe. Well, We've, I've eaten it. It's on YouTube. I've eaten it. It's, it's on, on YouTube. It, is it? It's, it's on, on YouTube. YouTube. I've eaten it, but I've not had the YouTube, recipe for but it. But it's spinach and cream cheese and, and uh, sharp cheddar cheese and it's chicken and it's just fantastic. But I watched that program with my daughter today. And I, that's how I started my morning. <clears throat> and I said, See, I have to remember the good the joy, the joy and yeah, the happiness. That's what we're going to, to highlight, is the joy and happiness. I, have to. I don't know, you weren't real happy with us at Town & Country that day that no. Charlene and Angela yeah. and I, we were having a really good time. They were. We and were I was up there really on cameras time. trying to stay on point and they we were, were having way more fun. <laughs> we were having way more fun out in the in the store. Yeah. You just don't understand. And Jimmy, <clears throat> but you would have had to know Jimmy yeah. Pearson and you would have had to have known That's the day we Corey had the blooper. And some, uh, oh, that, that and, blooper. And Jimmy Pearson running around yelling, don't take that picture, don't take that picture, don't take that. You would have <laughs> had to have been so there fun. to understand it, but it was and there's uh, one another of the fun. One that I say left when I say if I could find if I could turn a day back, I think I would go back to that day. My life with James really started that day. Yeah. It completely 
absolutely did with David White standing yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. But no, I really would go back. I would. I'd go back to that day. Yeah, and Angela, so and I think about Angela and Charlene and I are standing in the funeral home in Jasper. And here, here's Charles, and we are talking about that day at Town and Country. Yep, yep. So, you know what? You you find the silver among the thorns, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and yep, yep. she was the gold star that that shined. She was. So. She was. And and when we think about her life was cut so short, but I was so blessed to have had her as long as I did, because not all moms get to keep. God their has. A, that God long. had a reason. Yeah, God yeah. knew exactly what time she was coming yeah. home. Remind yourself of that. It's yeah. in Matthew. See that? See that bow? Angela tried to teach Mama to make bows, and she would get so tickled because people assumed because I owned Appalachian Memories that I did the work. No, she did. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. You were the face I of it. I the chicks, <laughs> and so people would come in and say, "Oh, I love that blanket you made for Mama." And Angela would be standing over there. My mama picks the roses and sticks them in the water, but my mama does not make the blankets. I do that. And she took such pride in her work. And, and I think that today I still have three pieces that she made besides the Christmas stuff here that we've used for years. And, and I look at those pieces, <coughs> her, heart was in, <coughs> her heart was in everything she did. Her heart was in, if she so loved completely. you, she loved you completely. If she disliked you, she disliked you completely. And she'd tell you, and she'd <laughs> yeah, tell you. Yeah, yeah. She would have no problem in telling you. You yeah. still, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She was just yeah. a character. She really she was, was. And she was so much fun. And, and I, I was watching something that happened this weekend, and somebody said something negative about our parade. <clears throat> and it's because we had the paranormal. Is that what they call it? The, uh, the spook house in Canton had a really cool float and a really cool dis uh, and a, what would be a fun time? And Angela showed up on this set one day dressed as the Bride of Frankenstein. And she was do you really. Remember that? I most certainly do. Oh she, my gosh! Oh, if she loved anything more than Christmas, it was she Halloween. Loved it. She loved it. And Horror houses. We did a spook house at Jasper Elementary five years in a row, and we made tons of money for the PTA because we worked hard at doing Angela's craft and, and she loved performing, she loved doing, she loved giving for others and that's what we did but it was so weird because um, this lady said something very negative because this these people were at the parade and I said that's so silly because that's part of a child's absolutely, growing up. Absolutely. You go out for Halloween, you watch the spook movies, you know, have you ever seen Freddy Krueger? I, I can't watch no, I don't, like that. I don't, my I, kids loved it. I don't like it but that's but that doesn't mean yeah. that I haven't watched some of them and some of them you just laugh through. And, and I don't know who the, I don't even know who the person was but when the comment was posted and everybody was like me. Are you serious? Why were you being so down? And you we've know, got about to this? we've got to lighten up. We got to lighten up. Yeah. And just yeah. use Angela as an good... example of smiling at something. Yeah. And, and Angela we're could do be that. dressed as an angel, or she could be dressed as Bride of Frankenstein. She didn't care, but she played both parts well. So. And then, but to her, she was playing a part. Playing a part. She just playing enjoyed getting into that and putting life into that, and she loved and, you know and what her scaring children and play playing. Was? Well, Mrs. Santa's Claus, Helper. I would think. Santa's I would think Mrs. Helper. Claus. Yes. Uh, I, listen, I went through that house. Yes. So one, once you experience <laughs> that house, there's. She didn't do that quite at Halloween. Yeah. But no, I'm gonna put a. I'm gonna put a gumdropper. Christmas tree in my refrigerator this year. So help me God, I am. You know how she did it? She took the styrofoam. Form I know how she. I, and then the toothpicks, and she just. And I've it was got so pictures cool. of it. Yeah. And I'm looking at this, and I closed the door, and I opened it, and I thought, she says, she says that's cool, isn't it? Yeah. We're not going to say what was sitting beside the tree. Though. No, no, we, no, 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 we're no, no, be no, good. no, no. We're laughing about the funny parts. Okay. I hope that y'all will remember. Um, if you've lost a loved one, if like Freddie's mom. You know, um, and, and this says it best, and think of her as living in the hearts of those she touched. For nothing loved is ever lost, and she was loved so much. And to Kathy that's Roper, Angela. to David I'm, Roper. That's, that is Angela. That is Angela yeah, to a T. Yeah, I, and I didn't even think about that. This is, this is something that my that precious is, sister <laughs> sent me. She said, I found this card. There was only one, um, and it's beautiful. And um, it, it just, and this was when Mama Julie died, and uh, we lost a, an amazing step. We've mom. lost so many people. We've lost so many people. It's unreal. It's unreal. So many people. But you people. know who we have to say happy birthday to yesterday? 
Harry Doss. And I always refer to him as Judge Harry. Judge Harry. Judge Harry. Judge Harry and Lynn, um, two of the pillars of the community in Fannin County. We adore Mighty them. Mighty pillars. And um, such amazing, amazing people who have raised a house full of amazing kids. And I've always said that one of their daughters will end up being the first female president, I hope. I hope it's not anybody that's up there now. <laughs> Why did, you have, why did you have to bring that up? <laughs> I'm in trouble now. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> don't oh, no, matter. I don't love him by a it long don't shot. Let's don't go there. I just, in trouble. We just don't talk about him. Oh, Lordy. Let's go back to the wonderful <laughs> light we knew. We're having trouble in the kitchen this probably. My, my Fitbit says that I'm 180 uh, steps behind this hour. They don't understand that you can't sit and do TV. Maybe we should do a d TV day one day that I just walk back and forth. <laughs> I'll sit here and count how many how many <laughs> that's funny rounds oh, you that's make. Funny. Um, what happened with NASCAR this week? Well, I don't know, but guess who won? Chandler Smith won the snowball. Yeah. I, I know that. Yeah. I, I I got to find a book that teaches me these new rules because I don't know what even happened. I don't I don't know. Well, I I don't know. I tell you what happened. To, I don't understand I tell you what the new happened rules in, in Alabama and Georgia. I need Alabama I, did it again. Dad blast it. <laughs> I need the Elliots to sit me down and explain them to me because I even <clears throat> even heard where Dad had made a comment about if NASCAR can't understand these, how can our fans? Let me tell you something. This is this is how smart I have become. I didn't used to be so smart. I'm smarter now. I used to buy SEC playoff tickets. I'm older tickets. than you are. The older we get, the smarter, <laughs> smarter we get. We I'm get. just going to tell you. I, I would always buy SEC tickets, and I would always go, and I would always watch no, somebody No, don't say SEC Georgia. ticket, because we're not, real, we're not, we're not admitting that even happened yeah. on Saturday night. But, but I would go to that game, and I would spend a fortune to get there, and I would take a bunch of people from our businesses, and, <clears throat> and I would, you know, enjoy the time, and I'd leave there angry. So you know what I did this weekend? I got on Facebook and I said, what's the score? What's the score? What's the score? All I cared about was the score. I did not, I did not make myself sick watching that game. Oh dear I God. Wish, I wish I had seen what went wrong, but as a respectful... In the first quarter, in the first up. quarter, Michelle <laughs> said, they just blew the game. Oh, it's no. like the second, or, it was second or third play, Michelle. She said, well, they just blew this game. Oh, and I no. said, no, 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 we just started. It was just kickoff. She said, nope, they just blew but the game. But you don't love Alabama, y'all. I know we're all Georgia fans. I, I'm, I love Georgia. But Alabama football is just football. I'm it's sorry. Fo it's football. Georgia's still number three in the country. Yes, yes, but, yes. But no, I'd like to talk to some of them now, about a couple of why did they go from one to three? Why can't they Well, they lost two? the important game. Well, I don't they, care. <laughs> Other it's, yeah, okay, it's, is that stuff ready yet? Yes, ma'am. Oh, we got some stuff ready. So we're going to yeah, we're going to take a break, and we're going to we're going to not yet. Can we do? Have we got a music break we can take? Is there something we can uh, air? Can, how about those photos I sent you last night, Tim? Can we do those? Georgia Bulldogs keep on. <laughs> Poor Georgia. United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. 
Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. These aren't. <gasps> we're back! We're back! Okay, y'all, we're going to get a close up shot of, and it's hot. You're hot. Let me pick it up with our ETC pot holders. Okay, this is the one that has the caramel on it, and this one has dates and pecans. And this is the one that I would say is a me one because I love caramel, I love dates, I love pecans. Well, that, that's two thirds me. This is the one for the children because it has chocolate chips in it. And you can see the chocolate chips. So there you go. Now, rather than serve it right now, we're going to wait just a few minutes. So, so we're going to do this mm -hmm. real quickly. Let me sit it right over here. You want me to run it over there? Can you go put it in the oven? Turn it, you know how to turn it back on? Yeah. Okay. Because we're. I'm. I'm going to serve up one. Let me dip one up. Here. Yeah. I added this one. Let me. Let me do that. Huh? I need the pot holders. If you just sit this in the oven, you won't. I mean, just sit that pan in there. Yeah. Oh, this one. It, that won't go in the uh -uh. microwave. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. This is done enough. The other one isn't, but that one is. Okay. We need a spoon, Jen. You can't eat out of this one. No, we need a spoon. We gotta find you a spoon. You're gonna give that to. We gotta find a spoon, y'all. We don't have Where a spoon. Where did the spoons go? We had spoons in Somebody this. Somebody raided our spoons. I don't know. I don't know. Well, there is bread pudding served in a glass. And there is I can eat <clears throat> here. I'll do it this way. This is my spoon that I stirred with. Mm. Well, here, this is a spoon. Yum! I Yum! Oh my gosh, it's fantastic. That is fantastic. Mm. Oh, I love it. 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 Uh, uh, mm. Oh my We're not going to get that in the microwave before we have to go off. But mm -mm. That's just that's all. That is so good. That's so bad. Put it on the back and seat again, of the car and I'll take it home. This was a biscuit, bagels, mm. two kinds of bread, and dates, pecans, eggs, sugar, condensed milk, Mayfield milk. That's close to being done. That's yeah. What, that's that is, awesome. That yeah. caramel that makes is that sweet. Amazing. And the little bit of caramel, and I use the caramel that you dip apples in. Mm-hmm. Just put it on the top of it while it's warm and let it melt. So <clears throat> it's amazing. And it's not super sweet, but it is dessert. Michelle, we're fine. It is definitely dessert. So and I don't think she's finding any spoons We've over got there. tons of spoons at home. We're fine. I thought we had a drawer full over here. So. Let's just leave. Let's just leave. It. Oh, here comes. Okay, now let me get. Okay, I'll just get this one Thank back. you, young man. Okay, here you go. All right, let me. Let me get them one ready. Okay, Tim, you ready? Cole, you ready? Y'all, excuse me. Yummy. Yummy. It is yummy. 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 Let's fix our assistant one over here. She's been yummy. running back and forth. This yes. is her kind of thing with the caramel in there. Yes. Isn't that good? Oh, yeah. Isn't that yummy? <laughs> Yum. Yum. Okay, Michelle, I'm doing yours. I got it right here. Okay. okay. And here's Tim's. Damn, you better eat this. That, that's just awful. <laughs> oh, it's so good. That's just awful. Yum. Tim don't eat all of 
That's there just, you go. Yeah, that's just yeah. awful. Isn't here's it? another spoon. Here, here's your spoon. My hair is still, my hair is still. Yama, yama, here. yama. Okay, now, y'all, quick and simple, uh, cold, rainy, miserable day. Took us 15 minutes. Eggs, milk, condensed milk, and sugar, it'll vary vanilla by your flavor. Oven. It'll vary by your <clears> oven. And I wanted to show y'all this little trick. If you're doing it and you have grandkids over, you spray the butter in here. You put your bread pudding in here, individual children's servings, and you let them decide what they want. And then if they want to sprinkle some sprinkles on top of them, if they want to put cookies, and then if they eat a couple of bites and they don't eat it all, you just put it back in the fridge we've got and then a couple you can of heat it again. Cups in here and that's all we've got. So this is, this was, I don't know why I got hooked on bread pudding. It's crazy because I didn't eat it all those years Mama made it. So Mama, you're watching from heaven. Yours wasn't near as good as this one. <laughs> that is so good. It's so yummy. It's light. And the bread's not mushy. The bread's not mushy. And I said, that's mm. the key. You cut it up in cubes. Did Tim eat some? I ate all my You want more? <laughs> Isn't it yummy? That is good. Yum. Yum. Simple. And it's full of, it's really full of protein because it has the eggs in it. And it is, it's just yummy. It's yummy and it was so simple. Yum, yum, yum. Mmm. <laughs> what do we, I need a napkin. There you go. Okay. Oh, you got a big hunk If y'all think about things in your kitchen that you like, Try them in bread pudding. I've done bread pudding with bananas and, and nuts. I love pineapple and coconut. I've done bread pudding with um, coconut and pineapple. I've done that. I have done bread pudding with craisins I'm because just, I I'm, love I'm craisins. Here just, just telling you how good this is. Yeah, I love bread pudding with craisins in it. So just think of things in your kitchen that you really enjoy eating and put them in your bread pudding. And that's exactly what we did. Or invite us over and we'll eat it with you. That's right. That's exactly what we did. We just took... That's delicious. You know, you know when, when you look at this was brown sugar, white sugar. Then we had the milk. Then we had the condensed milk. Then we had the um, vanilla flavoring. And we had eggs. And you just put it all together. Quickly, you can literally have dinner on the table. Throw this together. And while you're eating dinner... Completely. And be so this hot. This is done by the time you're finished with your dinner. And then there's your dessert. So it's fantastic. And it was so You've super simple. You've got a winner simple. on this one. And this caramel is the kind you dip apples you in. Right in the produce yeah. section. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? You would love you so, love the caramel. I love it. it. Love it, love it, love it. Love it, I'm love it, love it. I'm not a big caramel it. person. I'd be I happy with caramel. the dates and the pecans. Well, here's some dates. But I've been eating her. I've been eating you her. You know what food I do with dates, y'all? Right here. Put them on my chicken salad. I love it. Mm. Love dates. Love them. Have always loved them. You get used to certain things and some things mama would test on us and we'd go, eh, I don't know about that. Brussels sprouts was one of them. But then mother would test something and we would really, really like it. You know what I really like, even though I don't like raisins cooked? She made great rice pudding. She made great rice pudding, but I didn't like her bread and see, pudding. see, I'm not so. a rice pudding fan either, but well, I can eat rice and gravy and rice mm. and broccoli and Those rice dates and chicken. Are good. And, okay, y'all, the recipe will be posted. I will write it down. You will not get correct measurements because you know I didn't measure, but you know, you can kind of eyeball it and see what I did. And using this, this is what I use as my guide every time I make bread pudding. We've all got one of those somewhere this is in the our bowl. cabinet. I start with my eggs and my milk and add everything in this and then I add my bread. And I do this container full. That's my recipe. So, so it's kind of easy and kind of yummy. And again, if your kids like Oreos, you could do it with Oreos. Today I did it with chocolate chip cookies. But you I'm could do sorry, it with Oreos. my allergies are killing me. Just. Honest to God killing me. Well, and everybody I know has got allergy problems. And yeah. again, say a little prayer for Nick and uh, Riker and Catherine have been sick for several days. Nick's been kind of babysitting them, hearts. watching them and taking care of them, but they have been sick. So say a prayer for them. I hope everybody has a great day. Stay inside. Don't get out in this miserable weather. Make you some bread pudding for supper Only tonight. if you think you might shrink. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> It's nice funny. to be back, y'all. I've been, I've been so saving good. these. I've been saving these up. I've missed you. Back. 
So good to have you back. So good to have you back. It's good to be out. Tomorrow, the, the Bridgmans will be back, and I'm excited. Ooh. We're going to have some live music from the Bridgmans. Beautiful They're going to be joining us and uh, coming in from Forsyth County. And the sun's supposed to be out tomorrow, so sure it's going to be just a beautiful, beautiful day. Suppose Thank you for being it's here. It's always remember, a beautiful day. Remember, the whole parade is going to be on ETC. The guys are going to get it ready, and uh, it'll be on ETC, and then we will be sitting there saying, mash the button, and you can watch it over and over and over. I'll see you again in the morning. You're headed back to McKaysville, Georgia, aren't you? I'm headed to R&A Orchards for a bacon lettuce and tomato oh, sandwich. Oh, that sounds good. Where I'm rivers, on my way, Jennifer. I'm on my way. Where rivers, mountains. And good friends meet. And good friends meet. We'll see you again soon, only on ETC. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. We Bye love you. Bye, y'all.